This is going to be a quick rapid fire. There's so much news that I want to share with you. And very important, ladies and gentlemen. So buckle up, buttercup. Japan, mega quake warning, the ring of fire. We're going to look at a series of earthquakes in Southern California. We're going to talk about the Earth's inner core rotation actually reversing, according to several recent articles and papers that have came out. It's a seven-year cycle, they say. We're going to get into the Yellowstone supervolcano possibility and how they recently closed Biscuit Basin for the season because of a vent eruption that they say isn't that uncommon. What is causing all of this to take place? Is it planet nine? Is it our sun? Is it the location in the universe? There's so many questions, but let's just talk about it right now. Earth's inner core rotation reversal, CNN, July 2024. Scientists have tracked an astonishing discovery. Earth's inner core has reversed its rotation. The mysterious metal heart of our planet now moves in the opposite direction relative to the surface, hinting at unknown processes deep inside Earth. What does this mean? Well, they say it's a 70-year cycle, so you don't need to bring in your tomato plants yet. What you might want to do is look into gold, silver, and precious metals. I've been talking about this for years. I have precious metals. I'm very glad that I do. I've helped a lot of people also convert into precious metals. Now, Noble Gold Investments, A-plus rating with the Better Business Bureau, countless five-star reviews. They are offering a special for Elite Project listeners. If you convert your 401 or IRA into precious metals and you qualify, find out how. They will get you a 10-ounce solid silver American flag bar, or you could pick 10 silver Trump rounds, your choice. Also, free books, how to get out of the rat race, customer services, top notch. And if you look at the future of gold, and if you look at what all the money funders are talking about right now, look into the big banks. Now, there's obviously never any guarantees. So you look into what the big banks are doing and the big governments, and they are usurping gold by the ton. Silver has a lot of upside. Also, if you look at silver and its connections to solar panels and how many solar panels are going to be available by 2030, how many are already available now? A lot of upside. Check it out. 1-877-646-5347. Okay, so let's talk about this. First one, Yellowstone National Park's Biscuit Basin closure. After a rare hydrothermal explosion, it rocked Yellowstone's Biscuit Basin. The area shut down the rest of 2024. The basin, known for its stunning geysers and hot springs, turned into a danger zone. When superheated water burst through the surface, a vivid reminder of Yellowstone's volcanic power. What's next for one of America's most famous parks? Stay tuned. Japan's mega quake warning. They had a mega quake warning a few weeks ago. It became under scrutiny. The country also is in an area that is seismically volatile, the ring of fire. Its cutting edge technology can detect tremors seconds before the strike. But do we truly know what will happen when this takes place and are we truly prepared the ring of fire the pacific ocean's ring of fire is a hotbed of seismic activity 75 percent of the world's volcanoes and 90 percent of its earthquakes stretching from japan to california and that's why i'm bringing this up it's a ticking time bomb so what happens when this volatile zone unleashes its full fur the series of earthquakes right now in southern california are definitely something you want to pay attention to especially if you're in the area even if you're not just got a harsh reminder of its precarious position on the San Andreas Fault with a series of tremors rattling nerves. The big question remains, are we ready for this big one? So let's go to the articles right now. Okay, this is the first one that I wanted to share with you. And uh, I have a prediction there's going to be a big earthquake in October. So if it happens, you heard it here. Let's hope it doesn't. Be prepared, not scared. Tokyo companies prepare for ashfall from Mount Fuji eruption, disposal of ash, possibly at sea, a major challenge. A potential future eruption of Mount Fuji could blanket Tokyo and the surrounding region in a layer of volcanic ash, and some companies and municipalities are ramping up their preparations. Well, I'm glad to hear that. Companies are inspecting the equipment in their office buildings and municipalities nam, nam, developing guidelines for dealing with ashfall. But methods of disposing of great amounts of ash still need to be sorted out. The government plans to consider various methods, including dumping into the ocean. Oh, you know, out there by Fukushima. Okay, I'm joking, bad joke. Rising interest. Mitsubishi, a state company, a major real estate company based in Tokyo, has been proactively 
addressing the risks of asphalt across the 20 buildings it owns around the city's Marunachi area, including the Marunachi building near Tokyo Station since 2021. In 2020, the central government released an estimate of the potential asphalt from a Mount Fuji eruption. Based on that, the company anticipates the accumulation around the Marunachi could reach up to 10 centimeters and has prepared spare filters to address potential clogging of air conditioners caused by volcanic ash. Well, that's nice to know. I mean, if you look at the area, so here's Mount Fuji. Look at how far away Tokyo is. Beautiful volcano out there, absolutely gorgeous. One of the most majestic. You know, there's so much that happens in Japan. There's so much money, so much technology, so much amazing history and culture from Japan that the West doesn't really hear much about. It's like its own, well, it's on its own island, it seems sometimes. So this is the predictive map of Mount Fuji volcanic ash. You can see right here, they're predicting 50 centimeters in this area, 30 in the blue outline. And then, I'm sorry, in the green outline, 50 in the blue outline, and 10 centimeters outside of that, so around Tokyo. Now, I'm, I'm looking at the modeling and the ash distribution of the Yellowstone super eruption. This is from 2014, because it does seem that we're all connected here in this ring of fire. And then the possibility of the core slowing down so much that it potentially reverses in this impact. What will this do uh, to the ring of fire? Is this affecting the earthquakes? Is this affecting the seismic activity, the volcanoes? I would think so. I mean, just speculation here. What do you think? I want to hear your thoughts. And if you're a pro, leave it in the comment section. Back it up. So this is the map of the known asphalt boundaries for several U.S. eruptions. You can see the Yellowstone Plateau out here. You can see with the Mount St. Helens event that took place in 1980, it wasn't nearly as extreme as a Yellowstone event could be. The Biscuit Basin closed for the rest of 2024. Uh, the damage the explosion caused, the boardwalk and nearby thermal pools sent rocks as large as three feet, hundreds of feet into the air. The closure, obviously, due to safety concerns, the Biscuit Basin located north of Old Faithful, and the closure includes parking lots, trails, and boardwalks. Just a taste. Now, this is referring to the Earth's inner core. Uh, the Earth's inner core is reversing its rotation relative to the planet's surface. The inner core's rotation has slowed down and is now moving in reverse relative to the mantle. The seven-year cycle, this is 2023 study, found that the inner core's rotation follows a seven-year cycle. As I mentioned earlier, the inner core was spinning faster than the planet in the 1970s. It slowed down about 2008. And as began moving in reverse in 2008 to 2023. So it happened already. We're still here. We can still go out and spend 12 bucks on a latte and then tip them five bucks. You're on $17 for a coffee. Make your coffee at home. Heck, you could buy a half ounce of silver for 17 bucks. So the backtracking, the inner core's reversal is called backtracking. Scientists are still trying to figure out what caused the backtracking and if or when the rotation will change back. The seven-year cycle could have a number of effects on Earth, including minor turbulence, near the surface, slight shifts in the planet's magnetic field, and a very slight change in the length of the day. It's about the mega quake warning. Here's the ring of fire. You can see along the coast, all the way from Japan to California, up into Washington, and the series of earthquakes. So this is San Diego 7. Southern California has been shaken by a series of earthquakes in recent weeks, raising concerns among residents about whether a major quake might be approaching sooner than later. Certainly, having small earthquakes helps us understand the behavior of the fault, but it could not tell you anything about prediction yet, says geoscientist and civil engineer Ignacio Sepulveda. Hello. Not going on, folks. There's also another article that I want to share with you real quick about how uh, the horizons Subaru is good. Now it's in the side. So this is Forbes. 11 new objects have been found beyond Neptune. Oh, man. A survey of the outer solar system has uncovered 11 new objects in a region thought to be empty. There could be many more. Scientists using the 8.2 meter Subaru telescope in Hawaii think the 11 objects could be part of a much larger population 
just waiting to be found. The discovery is part of scientists' attempt to find new targets for NASA's New Horizons spacecraft, which left Earth in 2006 to fly past Pluto. It has since become the first mission to observe the Kuiper Belt on the outer edge of the solar system beyond Neptune. This is a groundbreaking discovery revealing something unexpected and new and exciting in the distant reaches of our solar system, said Dr. Alan Stern, principal investigator of the New Horizons mission. Planet X, Planet 9, Planet 11. I'm joking. A lot of stuff out there, folks. It's just mysterious. The universe is bizarre. So I'll keep you posted. Thanks for watching. Hit the bell. Be well and be the change you want to see. And I'll see you on Patreon. You're sending, you know you've been cutting, you know I'm ascending mm. I'm one of them winning I'm one of them winning Go take a look at the pen I'm making my money like it's never ending I took all my losses, I roll with the bosses I know where they cost and I'm so independent mm. Go take a look at the pen I'm making my money like it's never ending